Welcome back to Modern Art Blitz. I'm your host, Matt Gleason. Today's show, we, we have three amazing guests. Eva Malhotra, she started our show off. Later in the show, we're gonna have Jackie Drager right now. Lily Lackage. Lily, welcome to Modern Art Blitz. Thank you, thank you. Okay, now you are an LA legend, I'm just gonna say it. You don't have, you don't have to toot your own horn on this show. I'm your biggest fan. You are an LA legend. You, you took this ancient art form, and we're not talking cave painting. You took this ancient art form, actually this ancient craft signage form, and, and kind of, I don't know if you were the one who made it into art, but you made people aware that it was art. Would you say that? Is that fair? Well, I'm one of the people that I'm, have. I am not yeah. a hired publicist here, yeah. I know. You are one of the people. Yeah. You are a pioneer. I, I think of, so. of possibly, yes. Neon. Yes. As art. Yes. Now, is it still, I mean, sure, I'm sure at the beginning it was controversial to even consider neon as art. That's right. And when, when was the beginning? Well, the beginning of neon actually was in 1910 uh, in Paris. Uh, this uh, man, George Claude, was trying to uh, get oxygen out of the atmosphere, and he found these gases. <laughs> was he a terrorist? These <laughs> uh, byproducts, and uh, one of them, uh, one of the gases that was a byproduct lit up this bright orange, and his assistant said, we can do something with that. Let's, ah. let's use it for advertising. Ah. And uh, George Claude uh, developed the uh, long-lasting electrode that made neon last for a very long time. So it started uh, essentially in 1910 in Paris. Came to the U.S. Uh, about 1922 and 23 with a Packard sign from uh, Earl C. Anthony's dealership. Packard, uh, the car, Packard. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he had bought two Packard signs in Paris and okay. brought one to Los Angeles and one to San Francisco and they stopped traffic and that was like the beginning wow. of uh, this phenomenon that... Uh, now, fast forward to neons everywhere till all of a sudden neons kind of looked at as outre and like didn't the hippies kind of ruin it? Well, it's gone in and out of favor. I've over, over the years? Over the years. I've actually been doing neon for 50 years. 50 years? F 50 years. Since I 1967? 66. 66? 1966. You started in 1966, so you, you got a jump start on the summer of love. Yeah. <laughs> so you were, ahead, you were ahead of that. So you did your, you, so you did your first, were you an artist before neon? I was uh, in art school. You were in art school, where? Pratt Institute. The Pratt York. Institute uh, in New York, okay. Brooklyn, New York, yeah. And uh, Are you a New Yorker? No, oh, actually not. Every time someone admits to being a New Yorker on my show, I say, get off my show! Just, but I, that's just my shtick. But where are you from? Uh, I grew up in the Army. So, in the, oh, so you're an army brat, you moved around. We moved around a lot every two or three years. Oh, yeah? And we spent a lot of time uh, traveling across the country, which is where I saw beautiful neon signs on the landscape. And wow. when I was in art school and sort of hating painting and hating printmaking and hating everything they were teaching except drawing, I, uh, I kind of discovered that neon was drawing with light and that kind of did it for me. I, uh, drawing I, with light. Drawing with That's light. That's fantastic. So I went okay. with. I went with it. So, so we're we're we've got a neon piece here behind us. Tell, nice vertical there. What is this piece? Uh, this is one of my newest pieces. Oh wow! Yeah. Tell me about it. It's uh, it's called We Deal You Lose, Ooh. and uh, it's a self-portrait with a dragon behind me and. Uh, uh, a death mask with, uh, uh, or a skull with a combat helmet, and the words, uh, we deal, you lose. What is we deal, you lose? What is that? Well, it's America running around the world. Oh, making the, oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> okay, okay, it's a political piece. Yeah, we deal. Um, we, America, deals, and every time- Everybody else loses. Everybody loses, yeah, okay, that's, that's fair what enough. it's about. Kind of a signifier of empire, yes? Yes. Um, so, so, do you consider yourself a political artist? Uh, Partially, yes. Partially. Not all your, some of your work is just pure aesthetics. But, right. Okay. Right. So, so from now, when you started telling people, hey, neon is art, like, like a Rembrandt, did you get any pushback on that? Oh, definitely. Oh, really? Oh. I mean, it's accepted now, right? It, right. Okay, let's fast forward. Pushback. 50 years later, does everybody accept, <laughs> does everybody accept it now? Well, and, oddly enough, uh, people still will refer to my uh, sculpture. I call it sculpture, as signs, neon signs. So, really? Yeah, yeah. Even though what I do is mostly fine art, you know, they'll 
refer to it as neon signs because that's the mm. dominant. The uh, verbiage. Yeah. That's, 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 the, that's the jargon. Now, now, do you end up having a lot of interaction with signage people that aren't, would consider themselves, they may consider themselves creative and artistic, but they would consider themselves first and foremost a, a craftsperson in neon as opposed to an artist. Yes. Yeah, you, you, you end up having to interact with a lot of people I, just yes, to I buy do. the parts, right? Right, yes, I do. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a place in town that like the neon's cheaper than the other neon? Like you can go, I can get a better price on this neon than over, no? Uh, it's really not about price, it's about quality. Oh, quality, okay. Yeah, yeah. What, what's... it's a very difficult uh, skill to uh, bend neon tubes and so you want, I don't bend neon tubes myself. So you, you, do you give out, do you do drawing? Yeah, yeah. full do you, size. Do you save the drawings? Full size patterns. Do you save the, do you have oh, archives? Oh, absolutely. You do, oh, you have yeah. archives? Yeah, Okay. Big I, archives. That would be a good, that would, wouldn't it be great to have a Lily Lackett show with no neon in it? Wouldn't that, <laughs> conceptual, this is my conceptual curator side. Sorry, back to the interview. Yeah. So, so, um, uh, so it's 1966, you've discovered at Pratt neon as an art. How did you end up in, LA? Oh gosh. Um, well, graduating from art school doesn't give you access to job opportunities. So. What? <laughs> what? What the hell? So okay. I actually worked for the uh, welfare department in New York City for a year. Wow. And as I was coming back on the subway one day, I got beaten up by a gang of teenage black girls. Wow. And since in New York you live on the same subway line with everybody that lives on that line, I thought, got to get out of Dodge. Wow. Yeah, so that's Because you're going to see these people more and more. Yeah. There's, so you just said, that's it? That's it. I came to LA. And what year no, was No, actually, that? I came to San Francisco and hated San Francisco and then came to LA. What, what year was that? 1968. Whoa, so you, you were in, you were in Haight-Ashbury? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Was that not, you didn't like the scene there? Well, I I've heard it was beautiful, man. Well, I thought San Francisco was very uh, provincial, very backward. Ah. You know, very macrame, very uh, <laughs> Victorian. Wow, it's very. not the seventies without a macrame reference. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, Victorian houses, Victorian dress. I mean, it was. It, I just was not modern, and uh, I was there only about three months, and I came to LA and uh, loved LA, and I've been here ever since. Now, you are arguably most known for what we're looking at now the Neon Mona Lisa, you were the founder of? The Museum of Neon Art. Mona. Mona, yes. And now it's Lily Lackich Studios. Yes. Lily, uh, on, and you've been on Traction Avenue since? 36 years. 36 years. Since 1980. Since 1980. So I, I, I was there a few years after you. I got, you're, you were there before me. But let me tell you, that neighborhood's changed. Yes. So <laughs> I'm assuming you got a piece, you got, you got, you got this, place on Traction Avenue because it was cheap. Yes. Yeah. It's not cheap right now. Well, I own the building. Oh, well, so, so I assume it's gone up in value a few dollars. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Did you know that you were not calculating this is going to be the greatest real estate investment? No, I could ever make. it was, no. no. Downtown Italy. It was, it was it a was hopeless a, then? It was uh, a great neighborhood even then in 1980 really? because there were uh, other artists on the street. A lot of Late, artists. Laika was on the street, Los Angeles wow, Institute Leica. of Ooh, you don't hear Contemporary about that. That's Art. That's L A I C A, not the yeah. camera. Right, but right, the, okay. right. Yeah, um, there were some other uh, studios and galleries uh, sort of came a little later. Everything kind of came, everything kind of went. It and, came, it went. And you were there the whole moved. time. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Now, now, now you're next door to the pie hole. Yes. Yes. One of my favorite restaurants. Uh, so, <laughs> yes. so, so you were involved with the Museum of Neon Art from, for many years. 1981, I founded it. From 1981, and, you're, and you... Till 1999. And does it still exist? It exists in Glendale. It's yes. in Glendale? Yes. So, and uh, you've got your neon at Lily Lackage Studio. Yes. You do workshops there? I do. I teach neon design and fabrication out of my studio. Now, do, are most of your, I want to say clients or students, are they artists? They're mostly not artists. Really? Right. Anybody, wow. anybody, I can teach anybody to do neon. Really? Anybody, yeah. And it's mostly people who just love neon and they just want to make they just something. Want to, they just want to like, I just want to make a cool sign. I just want to make a cool something. Wow. What's the weirdest sign anyone's ever made? Oh, gosh. I, trust me, that person's not watching. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. What? I don't know because... Uh, you know, mostly what I teach is the art of it. The, the art of it. The sculpture of it. The sculpture of it. Yeah. yeah. And so, so a, lot of people, a lot of people just want to do text? Uh, you know, 
A lot of people are doing text uh, more recently because oh, yeah? of... Uh, Political? Yeah. Uh, or, or, uh, you don't have to say the name. Yeah. What are we looking at here? Uh, this is my uh, public art sculpture called L.A. Angel. Wow. And it's on Olive Street. Oh, I know that one, but yeah. Um, if, um, you go up, if you go up Olive after, be, before, between 1st and 4th. Yes, and it's on the parking garage for the Museum of Contemporary Art. The, yes, we, and I don't think they validate there though anymore. No. no, no. <laughs> I think I got stuck with a $30. Really, yeah. <laughs> I went to a press yeah. preview at Mo. Yeah. But yes, but that's been there forever. Uh, it got finished in 1992. Wow, that's a long time. Okay, yes. Oh, that's great. I drive by that. Uh, that's because Olive's a good... Okay, do not tell anybody this. This is just between us. Olive, one of the great streets to cut through north-south. Yeah. Shh, don't, don't tell everyone. <laughs> I don't think Waze even knows that. So, so, um, so, is that your lone piece of public art? No, I've done um, uh, I've done a number of public you, art. Oh, really? Okay. Pieces, so you're yeah. you're out there. And and do do you ever have trouble convincing public art panels that neon is art? Well, they pick me. I mean, you know, I get picked because of neon. Okay as art. They're already uh, looking for neon, is, is that No, it? no, no. No, they're no. just looking for a sculpture piece they're, and they're, for yeah, your, your proposal. Because usually you're competing against 2,000 artists. Ooh. So let me ask you, <laughs> so, okay, let's say that in your life, not that you have, not that you haven't, you've, you've attempted to be, have 100 public art pieces. How many, what percentage do you get of uh, all the ones you apply for? Is it very small? It's very small. Yes. And, and it's small, and you're Lily Lackage. I mean, you're like, you know, art legend here, and, and it's still small for you. Very small. So that's a, that's a lesson for all artists out there. It's tough. It's tough for everybody. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, so um, was there a peak? We look at the 1950s kind of stereotypically as the peak of neon, maybe the late 40s is like, yeah. you know, when you want to do a noir, noir movie, yeah. you, would, you would have like smoke and a neon sign. Yes. Right? Um, Okay, so then, then it kind of fades. It's, it's considered, oh, God, you know, the hippies come, ruin everything. But, <laughs> but then, then you and a few other pioneers bring it back. Was there another uh, peak of the, neon? The 80s. The 80s? Yeah. So the 80s, they were kind of like the 50s, but with... Well, there were two things that happened in the... Uh, in 1978, Rudy Stern, or 79, published a book called Let There Be Neon. It okay. was published by Abrams. And then I created the Museum of Neon Art on Traction Avenue in LA uh, in 1981. And because of being in LA, we, we got seen by all these location scouts who then uh, filmed shows at the museum. And then that went out on you know rock videos and commercials and television and movies. And then that went out all over the world. So that was... That helped of, push neon yes. into a new, new thing. Yes. And then at some point it was like, okay, that's enough neon now. Yeah, and then yeah. it sort of faded again. Now, have you ever just done an oil painting lately? No. No? No? Okay, just checking. It's, it's, no. it's okay. You're, no. So it's a strictly neon diet it's, here. Uh, yeah. Now, you, much... you made a piece for a, a, a show at my gallery. Do you yeah. remember this? Yes. It was for the Queer Biennial. Yes. Uh, it was curated by Ruben Esparza. Yes. Remind me about that piece. I mean, it was a great piece. Uh, Everybody liked it. You, it, you had feet prints. By the way, whatever you, there's still a little mark where the feet print. I could have shown that to you when you visited the gallery today. <laughs> yeah. I should have shown you. There's still, there's still some, some gum on the tile there. What, 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 uh, what was that piece about? Uh, it was a uh, interactive piece that was uh, built in a, like a phone booth with uh, a monitor, a video uh, monitor that would uh, record your, the, your face. That's why you had to stand on the feet. That yeah. you, had you had to, to stand, stand exactly the, there, yeah. Uh, and it said stand it. The, the piece was called Sticks and Stones, and it, uh, the, the feet on the floor said stand in my shoes. And, uh, and then on the chest of the phone booth, there were all of these gay slurs, uh, homosexual epithets, negative. So that when your face was on the monitor, you became... You, it looked like you two were carrying this burden of yes. being called these names. Yes. Yeah. Very powerful piece. Yeah. Um, that was uh, 2014, I think. If I'm wrong, don't history books. Sorry. Okay. Summer of 2014 was a queer biennial. Yeah. So uh, that was a great piece. And uh, again, you you do have a political undercurrent in a lot of your pieces. A lot of pieces. I don't want to call them decorative. Let's call them expressionistic. And obviously, when functioning properly, they're very bright. 
Yes. Yes. So, so, but, um, but there is a political, you, you have no problem with content. No. No. So what are we looking at here? Well, this is my largest uh, public art sculpture called uh, Flyaway for the Van Nuys Flyaway. What is a flyaway? It's where you park your car and take a bus to LAX. Oh, so the fly! Oh, jeez. Okay, I've taken the, the flyaway, not from Van Nuys, but from Los Virginia. Angeles. Okay. Airport. So that goes to LAX to Van Nuys, and they yeah. needed. It's a big. The big area wanted a public art piece. Yes. And now, were, do you know? Were you against other? Um, were you up against other neon artists for this? I was not up against other neon artists. I was up against uh, four other sculptors. Uh, okay. That, I mean, first of all, there's a pool of 2,000. Okay, so there's, there's and thousands, and, and then it gets weeded down. And then okay. it gets weeded down to five. Okay. And I was one of five. And then you're asked to make a proposal of what in it person? is. In person? Well, you have to do many drawings and models and all kinds of stuff, all for a grand sum of $500. Oh. <laughs> you know, well, so, in that uh, case. Uh, yeah. yeah. So it's... Uh, okay. And what year is this? Uh, this was uh, 2005. Can we, can we see the whole piece without us? Oh, I think that, that woman's late for her flyaway. <laughs> so, it's um, 114 feet long. Wow. Whew, that's giant. Wow. And do you, have to, do you have to do all the engineering too, structurally? Oh, all yeah. That stuff? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, or do you, yeah. do you hire a structural engineer? Mm, yes. It's probably safer that way. Yeah. Well, you have to hire. You have to. You have to. Yes. Do you have to? Is it one of those things public art gets the rap on, like, oh, you have to hire someone's cousin? Hey. Oh, no. No, none of that shit. No, no. You, you, you find a good structural engineer you're happy oh, yeah. with? Okay. Okay. Government gets a bad rap sometimes. I just yeah. want to clarify that. And what's this? This is the same piece. Oh, this is the same piece. Just, a, just about it's an, like the whole uh, piece. The whole piece at once. Yeah. Wow. Wow. It's made out of. Uh, a Pegasus, abstracted wow, wow, wow. Pe Pegasus, and then a uh, like a flying figure. Um, beautiful, beautiful. And what year was that? It got finished in 2009. Wow. Okay. More recent. More recent. Wow. So, well, we could talk. Let me tell you, we, you and I, we could just talk downtown real estate for an hour. We could talk <laughs> art, neon art, lots of stuff. So, this is, I think, our last slide. What is what is the name of this piece? Uh, this is called American Idol, Deep Water. American and, Idol Deep Water. Yeah, and uh, it's basically a Christ figure. Ah, uh, we're in deep water now. Yes, wouldn't we are. you say? Yes? yes. Yikes. Okay. Well, so let's uh, try to tread water for the next four years, shall we? Lily Lackage, thank you for being thank my you. guest on Modern Art Blitz. We'll be back right after this. <laughs> Welcome to the land of illusion.